For this job, the trench has been dug up to the point where the conduit crosses the road, and then continued on the other side. The ends of the conduit are exposed by crewmen digging by hand. This avoids damaging the conduit. The cable is pulled into the trench up to the point where it will cross under the road. Enough extra cable has been pulled to pass through the conduit and on to the next termination point. Any extra cable is coiled on the ground. With the trench and the cable ready, the next step is blowing the jet line through the conduit. The jet line will be used to clean the inside of the conduit and to pull the cable through. The jet line is usually blown through the conduit using compressed air. To do this, a device called a jet line gun is used. Although there are many different kinds of jet line guns, some manufactured and some homemade, most operate in the same basic way. Let's take a closer look at the gun our crew will be using. This jet line gun consists of a wooden cylinder with several fittings. The cylinder is tapered so that it can fit into and seal a number of different conduit diameters. One fitting on the cylinder is a pipe that can be connected to an air compressor or other source of compressed air. A valve on the pipe is used to control the flow of air through the cylinder and into the conduit. The cylinder also has a channel drilled through it. The diameter of the channel is large enough to allow the jet line to move through it freely. Connected to the end of the jet line is a hollow cone, often called a shuttlecock. To blow the jet line through the conduit, the covers on the ends of the conduit are first removed. Then the cone is inserted into one end of the conduit, and the cylinder is used to seal the end of the conduit. The crewman then opens the airflow valve. The compressed air pushes the cone and jet line through the conduit run. If there are no major obstructions in the conduit, the line emerges on the other side of the road. After the line is blown through, the conduit can be cleaned to remove any solid particles and debris. 